Hi, for this video, we will be graphing systems of linear equation. Before we proceed to some examples, we need to remember the following. So, kapag yung graph ng system of linear equation mo is parallel lines, ang number ng solution niya ay not. Wala siyang solution. And then, kapag naman intersecting lines, yung nakita nyo sa graph, ang number of solutions ng system of linear equations na given ay meron siyang isang unique solution. One unique solution. Kapag naman same lines or nag-coincide yung graph ng system of linear equations na given, ang number of solutions niya ay many solutions or infinite number of solutions. Now, let us graph some systems of linear equation. Let's now have our first system of linear equation. So, we have x plus y equals 5 and we have 2x plus y equals 4. So, first that we need to do is to graph each linear equation separately. So, the fastest method na pwede natin gamitin in graphing linear equations is yung intercept na method. Gamit yung intercepts, x and y intercepts. So, kukunin natin yung x and y intercepts ng parehong linear equation. So, first kunin muna natin yung kay x plus y equals 5. Okay? Kapag kukunin natin yung x intercept, given that y is equal to 0. So, we have x. We can just cancel out y actually. Kasi 0 na siya. Therefore, ang value ni x is 5. So, sa x-intercept, we have 5, 0. And then, let's move on in finding the y-intercept. So, y-intercept naman, given that x is equal to 0. Okay? So, we will assume na x is 0. Cancel out nyo lang yan. y is equal to 5. So, sa y-intercept natin, we have 0, 5. And then for the next uh, linear equation, we have 2x plus y equals 4. So, find natin yung x-intercept given na y is 0. So, we will assume, or we can just cancel out uh, like y. So, we have 2x equals 4. To cancel 2 beside x divide by 2. So, x is equal to Okay? So, ang x-intercept mo ay 2, 0. And then, next doon naman tayo sa um, y-intercept. So, y-intercept naman given na x is 0. So, you can just cancel 2x. So, y equals 4. y mo is 4. So, sa so y-intercept mo, you have um, 0, 4. And then, we will be graphing each um, equation, each linear equation. So, graph natin yung mga intercept na sinod natin. So, first linear equation, we have uh, 5, 0. So, andito siya along the x-axis. And then, yung y-intercept niya ay 0, 5. And then, just connect those points. So, yan yung graph ng first linear equation mo. I'm so sorry kung hindi masyadong straight. Okay? And then, yung second na linear equation mo, we have, uh, yung x-intercept is 2, 0. Y-intercept is um, 0, 4. So, andito siya. Pag graph natin to, it will become like this. So, kung napansin nyo, at some point, they intersected. Nagtagpo yung dalawang lines at some point. Therefore, we can now conclude na yung type ng line netong given system of linear equation mo ay intersecting lines. And yung number of solutions ng intersecting line is meron siyang one unique solution.
So at some point, this lines intersects at one point. Okay? So ito na ngayon yung graph ng system of linear equation mo. The lines or the graph is intersecting lines and the number of solutions meron siyang one unique solution. Next example, we have this system of linear equation. So, we have x plus y equals 3 and x plus y equals negative uh, 2. So, again, using the intercepts, we can graph each uh, linear equation. So, first, dito muna tayo kay x plus y equals 3. Kunin natin yung x-intercept niya given na y is equal to 0. So, cancel out natin ang y. x is equal to 3. And then, next naman, kay y-intercept. Kay y-intercept, si x naman yung 0. So, cancel out natin si x. y is also equal to 3. So, the x-intercept is 3, 0. The y-intercept is 0, 3 nung unang linear equation. And then, sa pangalawang linear equation, the second x-intercept, y is 0. So, cancel out natin si y dito. x is negative 2. And then, sa so y-intercept naman, sa so y-intercept niya, x is 0. So, cancel out natin si x. y is equal to negative 2 also. So, the x-intercept of the second linear equation is negative 2, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Now, let us graph each linear equation. So, first, linear equation muna. We have uh, 3, 0 and 0, 3. So, yun yung graph ng first linear equation. And then, yung second linear equation mo, the x-intercept is negative 2, 0. And then, y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So, here... And observing this graph, we can see that the type of line, they are parallel lines. Okay? And then, ang number of solution ng parallel lines ay wala silang solution. Meaning, hindi nag-intersect at any point in the Cartesian plane yung dalawang lines na to or yung system of linear equations na to. So, this is the graph of example number 2. They are parallel and they have no solution. We now have our last e example which is the system of linear equation. We have x minus y equals 2 as well as 2x minus 2y equals 4. So again, let's uh, get the value of the intercepts of each linear equation for us to be able to graph each linear equation. So first, uh, we need to find the x-intercept given that y is equal to 0. So x cancel out natin si y, x is equal to 2. And sa so y-intercept naman natin, given that x is equal to 0, cancel out natin si x, matitira si negative y equals 2. For us to get rid of negative, we need to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. So we now have um, y, positive y, equals 2, over negative 1 is negative 2. So, we have negative 2 there. So, the x-intercept of the first linear equation is 2, 0. And yung y-intercept niya ay um, 0, negative 2. And then, let's move on to our second um, linear equation. So, 
let's find the x-intercept given that y is 0. So we have 2x, negative 2y, it will be cancelled out kasi 0 na si y. So magiging 0 na yan. To get rid of um, the coefficient beside x, divide natin both sides by 2. x now will be equal to 4 over 2 is 2. So we have 2, 0. Yun yung x-intercept ng second linear equation natin. And then, yung y-intercept naman, given that x is equal to 0, so we have 2x, cancel it out, matitira si negative 2y equals 4. To get rid of negative 2 beside y, divide natin both sides of the equation by negative 2. y is equal to 4 over negative 2, the answer is negative 2. So, ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 2. So, the second linear equation, yung x-intercept niya is 2, uh, 0. Yung y-intercept naman niya is 0, negative 2. And then, let us now graph each linear equation. Graph muna natin yung first linear equation. So, x-intercept niya is 2, 0. And then, yung y-intercept niya is 0, negative 2. So, this is the graph of the first linear equation. Yung second linear equation natin, we have uh, 2, 0 as its x-intercept. And then, yung y-intercept niya ay 0, negative 2. So, kung napapansin ninyo, the graph of the first and second linear equation coincides. Ibig sabihin, same yung lines nila or yung graph nila. Therefore, right natin, they have or their graph is same lines or the lines coincide. And yung number of solutions ng ganitong graph regarding systems of linear equations ay infinite number of solutions or pwede ding ilagay many solutions. So, they have the same lines or the lines or the graph of each linear equation coincides. Therefore, the number of solutions are infinite. So, that's it. That is how you graph systems of linear equation.